Makaya ko ba na? Lord, please, pasado. I've been studying German for five years on and off and in this video I'll be sharing with you guys my experience with the Goethe Certificate B2 Profile as well as my exam prep. The first off is exam preparation. Of course this is the most important thing when a person is going to take an exam. And for me personally I do get distracted pretty easily so I knew off the bat that I need to make a system. This is how I made my system. First off is I gathered all the resources that I wanted to use for my study, the books, the mock tests, tables, everything. Second is I got me a blank calendar. I just printed that out. I wrote on each day the resources that I wanted to study, like a chapter of a book, something to watch on YouTube or what have you. Third is I used apps to sort of track my progress for the entire duration of my exam preparation. For the resources that I used, I used the Goethe mock exam that you can find on their website. For the books, I used Solgitz. Mit Erfolg, Lise Training B2. I also use Enki flashcards, R slash Right Street German in Reddit, and then I watch Tagesschau every day. I work full time, so when I structured my calendar, I had to make sure I have an AM and PM part. That way, I don't get overwhelmed with the information while studying. For the morning routine of my calendar, I would either do a listening exam or I would answer a part of a chapter in So Gitz or on Deutsch Profungs training or mit der Volk. Towards the end of my exam preparation, I was just conversing with a language partner for an hour. The PM part of my routine is when I get home from my work, I would exercise first just to get my concentration back, meditate for a bit, watch Tagesschau, review my Anki flashcard, do listening exams again, then I would converse with a person in German for an hour. But I guess I forgot to say that an important step to take before you make a calendar is to determine your weakness. For me, my weakness was really listening, so I made sure when I made my calendar, I have a lot of opportunities to practice that. And also writing. For some reason, I find it really hard to really structure my words, so I made sure every day that I write something. But another thing to take note of is that you can always adjust what's in your calendar because sometimes at the beginning of your review it would be hard to determine what's your weakness when I had more information which areas that I'm having trouble with I started changing up my calendar and just tweaking it until I finally was able to provide myself more opportunities to work on my weaknesses but there's other activities that I've done just because I get bored and distracted. Sometimes I don't like structure that's what's written on my calendar. I would do some activities for each part of the exam. For reading, I would read news articles. I would go to Instagram and read captions in German. I would uh, answer model tests on Lisa training me twice. But for the listening part, I did a lot of reading and writing. I found out that when you do those two things, your listening actually improves. I would do exercises that I find on with Erfolg, Deutsch Profungs Training, and YouTube. Um, I also listened to a lot of podcasts while working. I would listen to Quarks Daily, Die Lage, DLF Nachrichten, of course YouTube. I would watch Czech Retobi and Easy Learning German. So for writing, I made sure that I practice every day. I would always go to r slash right street German and post there my writing exercises to be corrected. Sometimes they don't correct it fast enough. Sometimes I use chat GPT to correct my grammar. So for speaking, I printed out a list of read the middles that I can use for my presentation. I practice my presentation in front of the mirror. That way I can practice being concentrated because looking at yourself in the mirror is such a big distraction. I mean, who's a big 
bigger distraction than myself, right? And also, I would write every day. I've read this article. I just searched it when I noticed that whenever I write on my journal of Deutsch, my conversations in German flow easier. So I googled that out and then I found an article that says writing can improve your speaking just because whenever you write you give your brain some sort of a slow down practice of the structure which helps you when you're speaking so try that out i also did italki and lingoda with italki i made sure that my language teachers have different personalities some that are i find intimidating some friendly that way i can expose myself to just different situations i won't get intimidated when i speak in german with lingoda of course each time you have classes the teachers are not the same so that was a very good practice as well as much as my routine was very helpful of course i'm just human there were still a lot of challenges that i faced during my exam preparation first off is for me the scheduling was difficult i work full-time and i only have more and evenings to study sometimes I have to document for my work and that takes some time of my p.m. routine which totally sucks I also was initially very overwhelmed with tons of resources and how I'm gonna do them plus my personality that I get distracted easily but as I went along with the calendar and just followed it I noticed that I was able to pinpoint my weaknesses and then I just adjusted my calendar Accordingly. I also found that I really had a lot of trouble with my listening. I did it at first in the morning. I would get like really low scores that not even pass and I was like crying for like two three weeks. That really shattered my routine. I just decided to just put it in the afternoon or in the evenings when it's in the morning. I just really feel deflated knowing that that was my weakness and I wasn't really productive. I also noticed the entire exam preparation. I was having a lot of headache like every day for three months. I don't know why. And then I noticed that my eye was like twitching which is really weird. I was suddenly having more white hair like what? I'm 33. So to solve those challenges, I tried to follow my calendar, I would meal prep, just pick up my groceries just to give me myself more time to relax and to study. I would also exercise to help throw off that extra cortisol that I have in my body. Journaling also helped me a lot, that way I can process this journey that I'm going through. Meditation. When I was meditating, I was searching for topics like test preparation, self-confidence, trusting yourself. It's kind of like mentally prepare myself for this exam. Digital minimalism really helped me the most. I limited my social media time. That way I can concentrate for a longer period and I don't feel overwhelmed as much. So during the exam, I was really nervous at the start of it. I made a big mistake of writing the date of the exam on the part where you write your date of birth. So that kind of threw me off already. On the reading part, I can say that I why it was really hard just because the choices were so similar with each other that they can fit on all blanks. And that was really annoying. Also, the structure of the sentence was like very unusual. It was kind of like more complex that it gave me a hard time on understanding each part of the paragraph. Uh, I decided to answer all the other parts first and return back to it. But it was really hard that I ran out of time and I just decided to put in like random letters as answer because I would rather have an answer than not. But that really was annoying because I thought I was really getting good scores on the mock tests. But then on the exam itself, it was harder than the usual. During the break time because you get 15 minutes of break in between each part of the exam the other test takers and I we discussed about it but our discussion was good because we didn't really discuss on a specific question and compared answers so we just basically discussed like a general feeling on the exam and that was helpful because it didn't shatter each other's confidence and at the same time was kind of comforting I kind of felt like I'm at the same level with the other test takers moving on to listening part because I knew I kind of messed up my reading I 
I felt like I didn't care that much for the listening part anymore. But what's good is that I wasn't nervous at this part because I knew I just messed up my reading so I didn't care. I just focused on making sure that I encircle nouns and underline verbs or other keywords. That helped me in making sure I choose the right answer. I wasn't as nervous on my listening but I, I still have that feeling that it's not gonna be the best because it's always gonna be my weakness. The writing part, I made sure to use another extra paper to write an outline of my essay. Unfortunately, that took a lot of time and I was only left with 15 minutes for Tile Tsui of writing part. But I think learning the read the middle really helped me because I was writing every day during the exam preparation. On the second part of the exam, my thoughts were just flowing out and I was just writing them down and I didn't bother even checking the grammar because it seemed like I was following a structure that I was using when I was practicing. And for the speaking part, because my brain was already fried and I was just so excited to end the exam, I probably was the least nervous on this part or probably not at all. Also adding to the fact that uh, I've been practicing speaking for a long time, making sure that I was speaking with a German speaker every day really helped me a lot. On the first part of the speaking test, uh, I was of course following the read the middle that I practiced in front of the mirror. Another thing that made me more confident is that I was seeing the reactions of the evaluators. Seeing that they have more of a positive disposition while I was delivering my presentation made me more confident and I really didn't care if my grammar was wrong but I, I think for the most part they understood me pretty well. For the second part of the speaking because I have to speak with another test taker I made sure that we kind of like help each other. I know I'm a very talky person when I noticed that he hasn't shared some of his experiences I was asking him like do you have a similar experience about this matter and he was able Able to express himself and I think that helping each other part was really good it really made sure that you guys are having a conversation and deciding on something so here we are at post exam reflections I'm doing this part so that you guys can learn from my mistakes I've also debrief myself from going through that journey I think that was the hardest exam that I have taken my entire life I felt like I was pushed out of my comfort zone the entire time I was preparing for the exam so here are my scores for reading I got 93 which was for me a miracle I know that's not a very high score but knowing how hard Tile Tsui is that that was a big miracle already. For listening, I got 70. For somebody whose weakness is listening like me, that already is a high score. I felt like I really worked hard for that. <laughs> writing, I got 97. That daily drilling of me just writing down and answering model tests really helped. Speaking, I got 95. That daily conversation with my speaking partners was helpful in making me achieve that score. And also, it wasn't a surprise to me because I was already seeing the expression of the test evaluators when I was doing my presentation and talking to the other test taker. I wish I wasn't complacent with my reading. Honestly, on the days leading to the exam, I was doing one mock test per day. And I stopped doing that on the last two weeks of the exam preparation because I was already getting good scores. I was thinking that I could just focus on my weakness which is listening at the same time I think it was bound to happen because I didn't have any idea that the reading part would be like that and I still managed to pass it anyway although <laughs> it's just three points away from failing <laughs> But I guess now it doesn't matter. Probably it was good that I really concentrated on my weakness because honestly on the listening during all the mock tests that I did, I always would just get, I don't know, like really low scores, like really close to the passing. But getting a 70 for me, that was a big win. Also initially writing for me was another big weakness. So I really made sure to practice that every day and I think that paid off. I wish that I'd given myself more time to do the exam preparation. 
that way I won't be so stressed and I won't be having the physical manifestations of stress which are headache and eye twitching and white hair. I think it would have been also better if when I was at the lower level, I could have already taken a German exam. That way I have that mental preparation on how is it like when you're taking an exam that's purely in German. But unfortunately, everything had to happen the way it happened. Hopefully you guys will try to learn from my mistakes and do better on your exam preparation. <laughs> We're now here at the results and aftermath. When I got the results of my exam, I was so happy, but I really couldn't believe that my reading part was able to make it. Like you guys probably saw the video a while ago. While I was waiting for the results, all I was thinking was I probably really failed that part and I have to redo the test. Right now I plan to stay at B2 level. One of the test evaluators said that plateaus are important so that your brain can process all the information that you've gathered during the exam preparation and even before that because I was studying non-stop for a year. I also plan to review my grammar, especially prepositions and the noun verb combinations since I think I always have trouble with those. I also plan to get back to reviewing my vocabulary using Anki. Anki might not work for you, but for me it works. I'm gonna keep on doing that. I plan to structure, of course, another routine using a blank calendar and follow that because honestly, while I was waiting for the results of my exam, I was just doing nothing. <laughs> I was back on social media doing that. So I also plan to reduce my uh, social media consumption and I know getting back to learning German will tremendously help me with that one. My final tips and advice, make sure you guys make a system or a routine because on days that you don't have any motivation, that will really push you through. The second is to ask for support from your family and friends. When I was really having a hard time, especially during that breakdown weeks because of my listening challenges, I was just calling my family and friends and ranting to them even though I was just crying. Actually just knowing that they are there and supporting me helped me a lot and I really felt comforted and I got my energy back towards the latter part of the preparation. Once you get or you start feeling that what you're studying is hard, please find comfort in the fact that you're already out of your comfort zone. That's fine because your body will adjust in time. That's just how our bodies work. Our bodies are made for survival, so you will definitely make it. It took a lot of time for me to develop this. Trust yourself. Because when I started my uh, exam preparation, having really low scores on that listening part really shattered my self-confidence and I wasn't trusting myself that I would pass that part. So, But towards the end, I, I was able to pick that back up. Meditation really helped me in building that self-trust, that confidence in taking this exam. I hope you also learn to or find ways to trust yourself. The last thing is to just don't be complacent. Don't be complacent at all. Yeah, I wish that I have just kept on studying that reading part. Probably I would have gotten a better score. Just be sure to just keep on practicing every day because practice will never betray you. This exam will always hold a special place in my heart and in my memory. It's a good reminder that I was able to face my fears and challenge myself. Despite the initial discomfort, I've grown immensely proud of myself because I was able to push myself beyond my limits physically, mentally, and emotionally. And it's also a reminder that we can do extraordinary things when we step out of our comfort zone. I'm just really happy that the previous Francis was so neurotic about setting up systems because I think half of the work has already been done when she had done that. But prep is definitely everything for people like me. I'm not a fast learner. I really need a lot of time. And it took me like a year to jump from B1 to B2. I'm not other learners who can just acquire language in three months or six months. 
this system has really helped me a lot. If you find my video helpful, please feel free to hit that like button, comment down below if you have other German learning related questions such as my journey from A1 to B2 or you just want to share your test experience, I would love to read them. And subscribe if you want to join me on my journey towards continuing learning German. And while you guys are at it, please, please recommend me something to read in German. I'm really struggling looking for a book or just something interesting to read. I really feel like I need to work on my reading. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!